Anjali Rao for iTalk Travel TV. This month, we hit the frigid but still vibrant streets of Berlin with CNN Go. We tune into the classical music scene as the Rias Orchestra welcomes us to a performance at the historic Concert House Berlin. Young German actor Max Simonischek takes us through the streets on his motorbike and introduces us to one of the city's most legendary fast food treats. All that plus a buzzing soundtrack and much more. Enjoy this month's episode of iTalk Travel TV. CNN Go, sponsored by Korean Air. has been unused for, for decades. It was in between the wars uh, used for um, weapon industry and is now since five years about a huge creative hub. The Berlin art scene today is, um, as it has been over the last, let's say, decade, um, drawing in a lot of people from all over the world because until now it's still a relatively cheap place to work and live. Berlin is uh, for sure the cultural capital of Germany. Berlin is also very different to the rest of Germany, so it remains open to kind of everyone and you can do and, and look however you want to, nobody really cares. It's actually an ugly city and that's the great part about it. It's not Paris, it's not London, no, it's relatively ugly but it's the people who make and it's the energy, the creative drive that makes the city really happening. This is due to the fact that the city was more or less completely bombed um, and therefore so much uh, of the after-war architecture dominates. We're standing in front of the Boros Bunker. This is an old uh, Second World War bunker and it's um, been transformed by Christian Boros a couple of years ago into an exhibition venue, a venue for his own private art collection. About 10, 20 years ago, and during his time in London, he bought um, a painting from Damien Hirst. This, at the time, Damien Hirst wasn't the big shot that he's right now, so he bought it for the time 10,000 Deutschmarks. It was a big investment for the guy. And Damien Hirst said, well, you know, if you buy this one, I give you another one for free. So um, with, by selling one of the Damien Hirst pictures now, he renovated the entire bunker and the other Damien Hirst is still hanging in this private penthouse. It's a beautiful mixture or clash of, of, of old time, of history and modernity that you see inside the space, apart from the artworks being exhibited. This is the largest remaining bit of the Berlin Wall. It is called the East Side Gallery, separating the East and the West. And even if it's snowing outside, you know, it adds a lot of color to the city. But there will never be an agenda, but there are a lot of abilities. The plan was always to be as good as anyone else in the contest could be. We are making appointments. We are making appointments. We are making appointments. I lived abroad for many years. I lived in Stockholm for six years. I lived in London and Paris. And 
after I decided to quit my job and start my own company, I really wanted to live in Berlin because Berlin is such an exciting place right now and it's still very affordable. What exactly attracted you? I think it's this kind of unfinished draw feeling that I have about Berlin still. It's still not as developed as other cities, which I think is, is exciting and which I like to be part of, of this kind of development. Fashion-wise, maybe still not the comparable to London or Paris or New York, but it's getting there, it's developing a lot. Right now we are uh, at the uh, Torstrasse. A lot of uh, cool new bars open here. The people are just celebrating their lives. There's no border anymore. There's no question of where, where you come from in Berlin. It's just, uh, it's just one big, unique uh, city, yeah? Also man kann eigentlich als freischaffender Künstler sehr viel tätig sein und ich kenne quasi keinen arbeitslosen Musiker. Ja, die ist natürlich unglaublich vielfältig, dadurch, dass es eben auch sehr viele Konzerthäuser gibt. Man kann quasi jeden Abend ein klassisches Konzert anhören, in die Oper gehen, ins Theater. Watching TV seven a.m. Since the, the wall was broken down, is that Berlin is from a poor point on the on the map, growing up to one of the gourmet high spots in Europe. Sleeping from eight to nine to nine thirty to ten. There are several dishes which, if you see them, you have to eat. One is called Königsberger Klopse. Um, it's a kind of minced meat served in a very creamy white sauce with capers. Watching TV. The other must-have, of course, it's a currywurst or curry sausage with French fries. 7 a.m. But if you have too much of them, you get a shape like me. Uh, <laughs> Sleeping again. Kulturelle Angebote gibt es hier en masse. An diesem Currystand trifft man sowohl anzugtragende Banker als auch alternative Studenten. Und zwar zu jeder Tages- und Nachtzeit. Also nach einer Feier oder Party in dieser Stadt kriegt man hier auch um vier, halb fünf Uhr morgens eine schöne, schöne Currywurst rot weiß. Delicious. Schweinewurst, Currywurst, ein Wahrzeichen Berlin neben Brandenburger Tor und Alexander Turm. Das dritte im Bunde ist die Currywurst rot-weiß, eindeutig und wunderbar. Ja. possibilities in the city. That's why Berlin is great for architects, for creative people, because you can fill in gaps while not being in, in a vacuum, you know, everything inspires you. There's no capital 
of an industrial nation right now that is cheap, that has all these empty zones we can move in, that is very open. So creative people are coming and they will keep coming. Built in the 40s is uh, it was the biggest building in the world. Uh, it was till they built the Pentagon in, in the United States. It's, it's a gigantic development, and now it's not an airport anymore. And the you know what do you do with a big building like that in the center of the city? Right now behind us, you know, there's a fashion fair going on. That's just using part of the building. <laughs> During the Berlin blockade, when Soviets kind of blocked the island uh, of West Berlin, uh, the Americans used this airport to fly in goods from outside to help the city survive. And that's what Berliners still keep in mind and, and remember when they think of Templo. That's why it is very, the connotation is very positive. To know, maybe that I don't know the simple words. And my baby doesn't know them either So we both don't have a clue But it doesn't matter who's right or wrong Important to mention is if you look at all these images from one of those beautiful Berlin winter days is that this airport actually is in the middle of Berlin, in the middle of the city. You see just this slight horizon edge, but actually behind that horizon are very alive and very creative um, city districts. People who move to Berlin are particularly at the moment flocking to these perimeters of this airport and try to live here. It's a very, very interesting moment where Berlin has disadvantage against Paris or London or New York, where you can make it. Like you fail in London once, you're dead. You can try a couple of times in Berlin, and then when you hit it, you hit it hard. Together, together, we belong together, together. So there you have it, a quick glimpse into the wonderful world of iTalk Travel, Australia's newest and most exciting retail travel group. They really do take great pride in taking the time to help you feel like you're an individual. Come and talk to one of the iTalk Travel agents about your flights, cruises, events, hotels, car hire, travel insurance, or to simply share your ideas for your dream holiday. You can talk to iTalk Travel experts in store, online, or over the phone. Find us at italk.travel or visit our Facebook page.